Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. So this video is me treating with potassium permanganate again. It has been a long time since I've actually treated this pond, but unfortunately when I've gone on holiday, I've come back and they've got costia. I've never actually had costia before or seen it on a microscope, so I didn't actually find it myself. I actually took a slide to somebody I know to be good at microscopes and he found costia on it almost instantly. And it, I didn't even realise it was there. But anyway, they've got costia. So, as you can see, the waters were purple with potassium permanganate. And I always say it's good to have good oxygen with potassium permanganate. And as you can see, I've got a little bit of oxygen coming up. I'm trying something new. So, the water temperature is almost 24 degrees. So I'm really worried about uh, the sturgeon because 24 degrees is the maximum water temperature for sturgeon and their ability to get the oxygen out of the water because the water can't hold enough oxygen over 24 degrees for a sturgeon so with me putting potassium permanganate in it'd probably kill it um, because it, potassium permanganate takes oxygen out of the water also costia affects the gills so they're struggling for air anyway so the chances of them surviving are slim in some cases so I'm trying something new so as you can see there's not a ton of air coming out but there's a bit I might turn it up later I've got that opportunity I'm just trying it but that is not air it's not from an air compressor what I've done is I've connected well, I've sort of bodged together my air lines to this air pipe here. So, there are my air pumps, and I've just took off the joint and put it onto this air line here. And, that goes to there, and then that goes into them bottom drains, so down there, no return valves and taps into the bottom drains. But what that's connected to is a bottle of pure oxygen. So what's coming up them air bubbles is pure oxygen. So you might be able to just hear it leaking in. It's full. It's not dropping very fast to the uh, gauge. We'll see how it goes for four hours. And uh, I'll be quite interested in seeing how the uh, fish react to it in four hours. Um, it might seem a bit overkill putting oxygen, it probably is. I'm worried about the temperature, but I've got the bottle of oxygen and it cost me 20 quid to refill it. So, you know, 20 quid if it saves, you know, if the fish come out in it a lot better. Like that one there was struggling with the oxygen before the um, potassium come in and it seems to like them uh, bubbles. So, we never know, the pure oxygen might be quite an advantage so we'll see in four hours time welcome back so that's the four hours done with the fish seem to be doing really well I've just seen the sturgeon he is a bit slow um, so he's a bit upset with the low oxygen but he's doing pretty well I don't know whether the oxygen in, from the bottle the pure oxygen has helped any or not but they are doing really well I did expect there to be a little bit more problems with the reduced oxygen. In fact, the stage is just past the window, right? Um, but it seems to be doing pretty well. I don't know whether it's to do with anything, anything to do with that oxygen. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with the uh, results. So now I'm going to add the hydrogen peroxide. So, there we go, hydrogen peroxide. Now what we do is watch it change colour. There's the sturgeon look, so he's a little bit upset with it, but he's still doing fine, so I think maybe next time I will use the oxygen again. So 
So there we go, we've all cleared up now. Um, so that is using pure oxygen to when treating your fish pond. Now, the sturgeon, you probably can't see him on the video again, but seems really happy and I expected him to be really upset with it. So maybe the oxygen did help. I can tell you something, I will definitely be doing that again. If I need to treat with PP again, I'll definitely be getting oxygen like that again. I think it made things a lot more simpler for me. And uh, I haven't also used as much oxygen as I thought I might have done. So that's pretty good. Um, the fish here, the fish, that's the fish over there that were at the top earlier. And they're uh, doing pretty well. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I've not seen anybody using pure oxygen like that. Uh, when treating and I just thought well you know the problem is oxygen deficiency when you're treating so if you're using pure oxygen surely it works and maybe it did help maybe it didn't but it definitely made me feel a lot better and I'm pretty sure the sturgeon got through it a lot better than what he uh, would have done especially at this high temperature I've done it before at this high temperature and he almost died I had to take him out halfway through treatment and put him in another tank and we were spraying air in it. I didn't have oxygen at that time. Um, so, yeah, it's come out well. And, show the oxygen. I will be leaving the oxygen bottle on for just another five minutes just to let everything settle down before I start changing the air back to compressor. There you go. Uh, what's that? 140. 145, 145 bar left in it still. So four hours of that. Didn't use that much oxygen. And uh, could definitely do it again for another four hours before it's getting a bit low. So there you go. I hope this video was interesting to you. And thanks for watching. Any questions and comments, please put them below. And I'll see you in the next video.